Hi there again marketing research students and SPSS users. This is a quick video that we're going to be uh, doing here together that shows us how to select only a subset of our records inside of an SPSS data set so we can conduct a sub-analysis. So again we're using our Spring 2014 Craft Beer 200 random subset data set. In this particular exercise I don't want to analyze the entire data set. I only want to analyze those individuals who identified themselves as male. So how I, need, how I can do this here is I can use the data select cases command inside SPSS. But I need to be able to tell SPSS what rule to follow to select those cases. So if I go to variable view and I find my gender variable and I have a gender recode variable here and I scroll over to the values column I'll notice that I have already coded the rules for what, what the numerical codes correspond to and a score of 1 equals male. So therefore, anybody who scores a 1 on this particular variable, I want to be included in my subset. So I can go to Data, Select Cases, and we see a series of select options here. I want to set an if condition. If someone is a 1 on the gender variable, let's include them in the analysis. So I click on If, and I can right click here to toggle between display variable labels and display variable names. bring in gender recode. Now I could have typed this in manually if I knew the exact name. Just to show you, I'm, I'm going to delete some of the words and then type it in manually. Okay, And equals 1. I know that males uh, were identified as a 1, so gender recode equals 1. Hit continue. If gender recode equals 1, select the cases. Very good. I could hit paste to paste this syntax into my syntax file. I'm just going to click OK and actually run it. So in my output file here, I get a little burst of the syntax saying, yes, this is exactly what we, I just ran. Let's verify visually that it did what we want it to do. So if I go to data view, you can see here on the far left column, you'll notice that there's crossed out records. They're not deleted. They're just merely being ignored for a short amount of time. While we have some included records here, they aren't crossed off. And these should be all of our, our mails. So if we slide over to our gender variable, right, there it is, they sure enough are all ones. So very good, we have selected. Now if we run any analysis, we will be only analyzing data for males. To prove this to ourselves, let's go to Analyze, let's go to Descriptive Statistics, and Frequencies. So we're running a simple frequency table. Let's do it on two variables. First, let's run that on gender. And let's run it the other one on, let's say, quiz. This is, deals with how many questions they answered correctly on the beer quiz. We'll display frequency tables and we'll hit OK. Sure enough, we had 200 people in our entire data set, but if the select cases worked correctly, we should have only a, we should have less than 200. And sure enough, we only have 90 males if we look at our frequency table. And everybody's a male, 100%. That's correct. Now if we look at our number of uh, correct answers to the beer quiz ranges from 0 to 4. We know that's correct. There were four questions on the quiz. And it appears that the majority of males who took the quiz, we have some missing. See, nine people decided not to take the quiz or skipped over it for some reason. 28% of them answered half the questions correctly. All right, very good. Now let's do a slightly more complex uh, select case. This time, I still want to analyze males, but only those males who are working full time. So again, uh, we have an employment status variable here. Now instead of going to variable view to verify what uh, a full time worker is indif indicated by, I can always click up here in data view. I can click on the A and one arrow here, which toggles the uh, data labels and data values. And since this was already properly programmed into the SPSS spreadsheet, we already told it at a different time way earlier that a 1 corresponds to someone working full time, 40 plus hours. So we know that not only do we want someone to be scored a 1 on the gender variable, we also want them to be scored a 1 on the employment status variable. Here's how we can do that uh, using select cases. Again, we go to data, select cases. Let's go ahead and if you select all cases and run it. Essentially it turns off whatever previous selection you had. Don't forget to do that if you mean to stop analyzing a subset. Let's go to data, select cases. This time for our if condition, 
we have gender recode, and they must also be working full time. And what we use for the and command here in SPSS at least is the ampersand. So gender recode equals one and their employment status also must equal one. There's also ways to do or, not, and other conditions. Uh, these things can be easily looked up in the help menu, Google for them, it's not too difficult. Gender recode equals one, employment status also equals one, let's hit continue. And let's go ahead and run this. Now if we've added on the additional criteria that they have to be working full time, I would imagine that we have a much fewer active data in our subset in our subset now. Let's prove that to ourselves. Let's go back to analyze. Let's run a frequency table. Analyze descriptives. Whoops. Frequencies. Let's run these again. They're already pre already set up. Sure enough, now we only have 36 males who are working full time in our subset. And now we have of this subset of 36 males, 35% of them answered two of the four questions correctly. All right, great job. So that's how we use the uh, select cases command. Important thing to keep in mind, if we close out of SPSS and open it back up again later, it will forget. It does not remember that you had select cases on. So if you, want to intend, if you intend to use select cases throughout your entire analysis project, say you want to purposely screen out some of your records for a long series of analysis, even though, but you don't want to delete them from your data set, it's important to remember to always run your select cases command first thing. Those of you who are using syntax files, good policy to have the syntax file uh, set the select cases first and foremost. Okay, that concludes this video. We'll come back with the next video talking how to do some recoding commands.